Hello and welcome to another episode of the Unmatched Style Design Review Podcast. I'm Gene. I'm Jay. And we're going to look at a couple of sites today that I think share a sort of a common concept of using, a, should I use the word effect? Kind of like an effect. Like that use yeah. uh, HTML effects and, and things like that to try to draw visitors. You realize HTML doesn't have effects, right? I know. You know what I meant. Yeah. yeah uh, they're, they're kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, maybe kind of experimental. Yeah. Um, you know, I think they're... The kind of things where they're they'll create some a little bit of buzz, you know, because people will just right. check check them out just for hey, look at this effect. That's right. Right. So let's first let's go to um, WebMind, and um, I mean uh, Paul Boag did a little post on this the other day, kind yeah. of saying, "Oh, this is a really really cool little effect," yeah. and it is. It's got this effect where you scroll down and there's um, this kind of transparency yeah, it makes the, the logo hide out, and then this this thing over here this. It kind of reminds me of Mike, something Microsoft would do. I'm not sure why, but but anyway, um, it's uh, it's similar to the the type or I don't know. Anyway, Maybe it's but anyway, but it's a really cool little effect, you know. And yeah. um, and the footer so, is probably my favorite part. Yeah. So the then footer yeah, the appears. footer kind of appears, and you know, it's that's really awesome. Yeah, it's it's re it's re it's really neat. It's really well well laid out. Um, and uh, what this is is a um, add on for a Firefox and Internet Explorer. It's, it's some search augmentation uh, plugin, you know. I haven't installed it, but um, and, and that's kind of and uh, one thing I want, want to talk about is kind of you know this is a, a cool thing, it's a cool effect, and it's probably making the rounds on Twitter design yeah it has design things because hey check out this effect, but I you know and I'm sure they're getting a ton of traffic and probably getting people in, installing it, but I kind of wonder if you know the, if the you know the effect is driving people to their site, but how effective is that in getting people to understand? The content and get people into it, you know, because right. people are coming I, to this site to look at an effect, not necessarily to find out about the add-on for Explorer. And and, and I, I'm not that's not not this that, that that's an invalid way of getting traffic to your site and getting people to find out about it. I'm sure I would I would uh, have a hunch that they're being successful at what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I just kind of wonder about uh, you know long-term uh, prospects. You yeah, know, exactly. About, about this kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Like, is the is a reward justifiable to just having the effect? Right. You know, because I, I think the thing is, you know, like when you talk about um, uh, when people search your site through Google, you know, those are those are qualified visitors because they search for you or something like you. That's right. And they came to your site, and you know, somebody's looking for some kind of search thing, and they came here. Well, that person is going to be a lot more inter interested in what you have to offer. That's right. Than somebody who that wants to, wants to see an effect. Right. And the you people know? who are coming here to see the effect are they really like the first probably I mean I've looked at this site four or five six times I only recently before our podcast figured out right. what it was for right that, right that, that's that's the thing it's like you I actually took when, the time and read it because I thought maybe when we you, talk about it when you come to a site for an effect you're going to look at the effect and that's it you're not going to look gone. at the content you know right um now, so it's like a catch twenty two. It's like you got to get them there, right? And you get them there by right. doing something cool, and it's right. really cool. And then, <laughs> right, exactly. How you made with, them read with, it? Without that effect, would right. they come there? Probably not. Right. So, um, it's just an interesting, uh, maybe a little conundrum, you know. It is. And, and but but on the other hand, it's like, I mean, I'm not would never advocate to not do something like this, right? You know, I mean, right, I mean, do, I mean, do something fun awesome. and 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 make yeah. a cool effect, and you know, um, I mean, it's cool, and and you're gonna see. Things like this pop up on other sites. You will now, yes. You know? um, Absolutely. In so, fact, let's look at the next site while we're still on this. Uh, this is <coughs> WeBleedDesign.com. Um, this, you know, the design, take it or leave it or whatever, but this employs sort of a, I wouldn't say similar to WebMind, but it has, it has a neat well, it's, it's, thing going yeah, on. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a similar thing in that you have uh, uh, a couple layers with some right. transparent PNGs. Right. And, but what's, what's neat about this is that um, as you scroll... This little background, which is this colored thing, mm -hmm. which is static, but this background has a bunch of things that are overlaid, and you know, little things happen. It's going down a little well with some monsters or something, and then hmm. you know, uh, this these things, uh, you know, kind of pop up. You know, cool little effects all the way to the bottom. Let me just go on the bottom, and then it goes and into the little hole there. Yeah. So I mean, it's neat. It's really neat. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's really neat. They animated it too, almost like when you. Uh, oh, if you will, it like if you click, click say on. play play it'll actually do it at their chosen speed or whatever yeah so you know so so yeah it's 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 it's, it's neat um but now uh, but again like like the web mind we, we we came to this site 
because of the of the effect. Yeah. You know? and, Same deal. I only just read it. And and, and I spent maybe like five minutes or so looking at this and hey, yeah. that's really cool. I didn't read one word on the page. I know. You know? I, know. I mean, I didn't read anything. So how do you balance and, that? That's the question. How do you, you know, what? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's like, I mean, this is fun and, and it's cool, but. It's like um, the effect, effect. You know, I mean, there's, no, there's nothing to make me come back. Once I, once I've, once I have like, oh, oh, that's a cool effect. There's nothing to make me come back because I haven't read anything. Yeah, now if you, you know? like in this one, for instance, if you change that every month or something. You know, yeah. if like did a different yeah. little story yeah. as you scroll down, that yeah. I would keep people like really hitting it and right. coming back. Right. But, but even then, I'm not sure they would pay attention to. Well, but but they'd have to know it. that you do that. Yeah. You know. So it's it's a it's an interesting little little thing where you know if we're really looking at doing these cool right. effects and and right. making something memorable. Right. Yet, what's yeah. it memorable? Well, for? I think the thing is is that you know it seems kind of maybe dumb and obvious, but the thing that keeps people coming to your site is content. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not an effect and. You know, I'm sure the people who, who who do these sites are fully aware of that, and it's not a criticism, yeah, not no, a criticism no. of that. You know, and um, this is something that you do for fun, and without people doing this kind of stuff, it would never get done, right? Right. I mean, somebody, you know, it's. Right. I mean, it, it's. Uh, you got to push the boundaries. Right. Exactly. And it's always fun to watch. Exactly. Uh, but let's look at the other site. We have three here. Um, this is Addy Addy Addy, Addy Rockstar, um, and this site employs. You know, it's not so much an effect. Uh, yeah, I don't even, we got to come up with a different term, but like it doesn't employ an effect like the other ones do, some kind of special thing. But it has some well, it's, JavaScript it's, and some it's, movement. It's an unusual. Implied. It's an unusual layout for, yeah. for a blog. Um, and it does some stuff like like I think you click on the eye there. It, it you know it does some interesting things, and the footer's always fixed there. Yeah. So it kind of you know gives you an interesting way to scroll through the content. Um, and the reason. The, you know, I wanted to put this one in here is because I think it's a really great example of um, almost coming to terms with the things we're talking about. Yeah, I think this is a site. Uh, you know, talking about people, you know, maybe generating buzz or getting somebody to come to your site. This is a site where people would say, "Hey, go, go, go check this out. It's got a cool effect, or it's yeah. got a cool layout, or you know, I like the way they're doing the the these different uh, sections." You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's cool. Um, and uh. So, but in that respect, but in, in that respect, but it doesn't uh, prevent you from actually consuming the content. That's right. Yeah, you know, as much as the as the other ones do. Because once yeah. you get here, and you, you can kind of understand this stuff, what's going on, and then it's like, okay, now you can read, you can read something. Yeah. Um, oh, absolutely. You know, so I think in that sense, it's more successful. And, and now they're not trying to be as far out as the other ones. You know. Right. Clearly. But. Um, it's it's a, it's a good balance. I mean, this is a blog. This other one. Well, I guess the bleed design. Is more yeah, I mean, we didn't want to just talk about but, look um, at these two, and we have a problem with yeah. this aspect. We wanted to show one what yeah. we thought was a good balance between yeah. having the two, um, focus on content and having a nice mm -hmm. feel um, yeah. with a, with an effect. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I mean maybe to sum this up, I think you know WebMind is a good way to to maybe make a, a splash, mm -hmm. right, and get some people just people not they're just gonna know what WebMind is. And maybe mm -hmm. maybe it shows up somewhere else. Then it can like be a second point of entry right. in someone's consciousness, right? You know, um, and the portfolio. So it seems like to me like this is a more of a long term thing, right? And like and like you said, maybe changing this up more frequently would be really cool. Would, would be a cool thing. And um, and this one I think you know just tones it down a little bit, and it's just a very successful blog yeah. with some cool design elements. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for the week. Um, yep. Until our next podcast.